Hello, my name's Tony Lee. I'm a father fighting to get my daughter and a future husband out of the cult of Scientology. This video has been made uh, on a serious note, even though we've got a fun, fun caption there of me flying off to the uh, planet Xenu. Um, I've made it up with a few clips and I've uh, used a um, friend of mine who's made a fantastic video, it's about three minutes long, which I've put on this uh, video of mine. The gentleman's name is Radio Paul and uh, his YouTube uh, channel, which people must go on and have a look. A uh, gentleman talks a lot of truth and he's made some fantastic videos. His site is, uh, or channel is www.youtube.com forward slash slash user forward slash radio Paul one he did this small video uh, I'm not edit any any of it it's to do with uh, an interview a stroke a conversation Larry Anderson who was um, who made the um, recruitment uh, film video called orientation and um, I'm in contact with Larry Anderson as well and he's been uh, helpful with my family uh, who has uh, come out of the cult of Scientology. Now this video like uh, Radio Paul's is to prove the lies that um, Tommy Davis comes out with and also Graham Wilson who is um, the um, head of communications at St Hill at East Grimstead uh, uh, in the UK. So there's some clips here which just as I say proves the lies that they come out with to do with the uh, disconnection policy and um, I have a book here which I've mentioned before which is called PTS stroke SP um, how to shatter uh, suppression. So um, have a look and um, see what you think but it certainly does prove the amount of lies um, that they come out with. Scientology may just call them, um, I think what's the word again, I always forget I've got it written down, um, it's, um, sorry about that, uh, acceptable truths, that's what they call them. Well the funny acceptable truths because uh, one he says there's no disconnection then he talks about disconnection this is Tommy Davis and you'll hear um, the clip of from um, Graham Wilson where he basically uh, talks about my daughter where she should basically come uh, back and s handle basically uh, the situation so no she can't do any more um, Scientology um, which of course she wants to because she's um, in that mindset and her boyfriend's in that mindset now um, that is sheer mental blackmail because they've got her in the mindset and now they're saying no you've got to go home and um, sort out the situation he means handle the situation now that's going to that puts the puts puts the daughter on the back foot where what can she do she can't go and do any more Scientology because I am being critical. So yes, they are saying disconnect because uh, it's the only thing she can do to go forward in Scientology uh, to, to resolve this situation because Sue and I, her parents, won't back down. So uh, have a look at the video and uh, the lies are amazing as uh, we all know that comes out of the mouth of Tommy Davis and the rest of them. Okay, thank you. This is a, um, a course uh, called um, How to Confront and Shatter Suppression, PTS SP course. And um, it's available from any Scientology org, Scientology building throughout the UK and the world. PTS slash SP. And this course is designed to teach Scientologists how to attack, intimidate, harass, even lie about anyone or any group that criticises Scientology. 
Scientologists who have escaped the cult have long cited as the reason for their change of heart a policy called Fair Game, which calls on followers to destroy critics any way they can. Let me just quote you what L. Ron Hubbard said about it. He said that Scientology critics can be tricked, sued, or lied to, or destroyed. Now, they are the words of the founder of Scientology. This is Radio Paul, and today I'm going to cover the Scientology denial of disconnection that Tommy Davis and the lawyer covered on Anderson Cooper. Now, there's another Anderson out there, Larry Anderson, and in that tape discussion, Tommy Davis admitted in detail that Larry Anderson would be disconnected and that it was the policy of Scientology to do such. So I'm going to invite you to listen to that audio clip and then watch some clips in comparison. And it becomes undeniable, and I wish Anderson Cooper had covered this when he had done his show, because it catches Tommy Davis in the act without any room for wiggling in lying about the disconnection policy. Please watch. I've been in the church 33 years. It's not delivering uh, what I expected it to do and, and be for me. And I've decided I no longer want to be a Scientologist. And since I have put a lot of money on account, I want that money back. Mm -hmm. And I've gone my merry way. Mm -hmm. You said in order to do that first, we needed to have a meeting. So let's do the meeting and then get to point B directly. Okay. I just state my goals up front as to why I'm here at this meeting. Yeah, understood. No problem. Um, yeah, I guess primarily I was just uh, being that um, this is not something you've ever expressed before. Mm. Um, no, that's incorrect. <clears throat> it's been expressed for the last two years uh, at great in great detail that doubt, I was, concerns, oh, yeah. wavering, so on and so forth. Yeah, yes, yeah, but so this is I'm not a leaving and I want my money. Yeah, but that's okay. that's definitely something you haven't said before, which is obviously different than I have doubts, I have concerns, I'm not sure, you know, whatever, I'm upset or I don't want to continue or, you know, these kinds of things. It's, you know, different. Right? Um, and obviously there's, you know, ramifications of, of, uh, of doing, you know, what you're saying, um, you know, which is expulsion from the church and, and um, uh, so, you know, you no longer be associating with Scientologists and things like that. Um, and I don't know. Clarifying that, because you said uh, that I, I you can, can talk I can to own. anybody you want to. Yeah, you can talk to anybody you want to. To your point, though, you said that I can no longer have association with Scientologists. Well, you wouldn't, for the fact that it's if church policy when someone takes repayment, they're expelled from the church. Hmm. It's just not true. There, there isn't any such policy that in the church that that's dictating who people should or should not be in communication with. You said that I can no longer have association with Scientologists. Well, you wouldn't, for the fact that. It's yeah. church policy when someone takes repayment, they're expelled. It's just not true. There, there isn't any such policy that in the church that, that's dictating who people should or should not be in communication with. You no longer be associating with Scientologists and things like that. It isn't the church saying you can't talk to this person, but... You said that I can no longer have association with Scientologists. Well, you wouldn't for the fact that... It's yeah. church policy when someone takes repayment, they're expelled. It isn't the church saying you can't talk to this. You no longer be associating with Scientologists and things like that. You said that I can no longer have association with Scientologists. Well, you wouldn't for the fact that it's yeah. church policy when someone takes repayment, they're expelled. It's just not true. There, there isn't any such policy that in the church that that's dictating who people should or should not be in communication with. We'd we'll be told that as long as they maintain that connection, they're not welcome in the church because the church any organization, and particularly a church like other churches, has a right to not welcome in its in its uh, in its ranks people who are supporting or connected to people who are attacking the church and meaning the church harm. When there, there's any differences within the family unit, we encourage a person to sort them out. And if it involves Scientology, then 
We, I, I said to Becky, there's no real point in you carrying on with any course in Scientology while you have that situation with your parents. We'll be told that as long as they maintain that connection, they're not welcome in the church because the church, any organization, and particularly a church like other churches, has a right to not welcome in its, in its, uh, in its ranks people who are supporting or connected to people who are attacking the church and meaning the church harm. When there, there's any differences within the family unit, we encourage a person to sort them out. And if it involves Scientology, then we, I, I said to Becky, there's no real point in you carrying on with any course in Scientology while you have that situation with your parents.